Hello guys, today let us look at this question. So this question is about Newton's law. So a child of mass of 20 kg, so you have a first object, a child of 20 kg, stands on the rough surface of a sledge of mass 40 kg. So there's a sledge of 40 kg. So the sledge can, slap, uh, can slide on a horizontal frictionless surface. So the surface will be frictionless. So one end of the rope is attached to sledge and the other end is held by the child. So as shown in the figure, the rope is horizontal. The child pulls off the rope with a horizontal force of 12 Newton. So there is a force pulling by the child 12 Newton. So we will expect that the child is also pulling by the rope with the 12 Newton force. So because the rope is attached to two ends, so the other end of the rope will have another 12 Newton as well. So let the red colors representing the child and the blue color representing the sledge. So we have the situation like this. So the question asking what is the frictional force between the child and the sledge. Let us redraw the diagram. So you have a child with 20 kg in contact with your second object, which is your sledge. The sledge is 40 kg. So both the child and the sledge move with the same accelerations as you can read from the question here so the child moving with acceleration a and the sledge should move with an acceleration a as well so by there's a force acting on the child by the rope 12 newton and this will be the same as on the sledge, 12 Newton as well. So you have two objects here and we are going to solve the situation. What is the frictional force between the child and the sledge? So, so we look at the child first. So the child is moving to the right hand side. So we will expect that the frictional force so F, let the F here to be the frictional force. So this is the friction acting on the child. And for the sledge will be the opposite action. So this friction will be the pairs of actions here. So let's look at the child as from an equation to cause this acceleration. So by Newton's second law, acceleration will be causing by a resultant force. So we need to calculate what is the resultant force acting on the child here. So let the F equal to MA. F here will be the resultant force. So the resultant force here will be 12 Newton minus the friction equal to 20 times the acceleration. So this is the force acting on the child. So look at the one on the sledge. So the same things, let F equal to MA. And you have 12 Newton plus the friction. So both frictions and the force are in the same direction. So you can just add them up. So it will be equal to 40A. So we are going to calculate the friction. So let's remove one of the element here. So let the acceleration to be equal to 12 plus F divided by 40. And we're going to substitute into this equation here. So solving the simultaneous equation, 12 minus friction equal to 20 times 12 plus friction over 40. Okay, let's see what is the value of our friction here. So 12 minus frictions equal to 
Okay, let's times two here. Okay, so we are getting the answer as three frictions equal to 12, the frictions equal to 4.0 Newton. So the answer for this one will be 4.0 Newton.